A big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Not long ago, I uploaded a video about the top 5 most popular nail shapes and you all really liked it. So as requested, today I am sharing with all of you the steps of creating 5 different nail shapes but on natural nails. It's no secret, natural nails do have their flaws. When working with extensions, you don't need to worry about unevenness, curling, or nails without any arch. Therefore, it is a totally different experience when working with natural nails. These nails are long, oval shaped, and have a thin layer of coating, so we'll be starting off today with a classic oval shape. I'm beginning by filing down the free edge. While I'm filing her nail, I'm holding my nail file at an angle so that the upper part of my nail file is leaning back and pointed more towards us. By using these steps, we are lightly rounding her nail. Then I am placing the nail file on the side. Because her natural nails aren't very wide, we are not starting from the point of growth but rather leaning the nail file away from the point of growth and filing the corner of her nail in order to round out the corners. I am filing this in all one motion and not taking the nail file away from her nail. If we look at her nail from the side, we can see how these corners have formed underneath. So I'm placing my nail file underneath her nail and filing down those sagging areas. My client's pinky nail isn't very even, and if we place her hand this way, we can clearly see how this nail is a little crooked. Therefore, I am filing her nail so that it will appear as even as possible. And our oval shape is complete. Further, we are moving on to an almond shape. For a perfect almond shape, her nails need to be at medium length and wider. So for this shape, I won't touch the length on the free edge, but instead I'm starting our filing from the side of her nail. I am placing the nail file from the point of growth, while also having the tip of our file tilted toward the center of her nail. By following these steps, we are filing down the sides of her nail while also rounding and narrowing out the sides into an almond. By filing the sides, we are bringing everything together to the tip. And it is very important not to sharpen the tip because it needs to be rounded, otherwise it's not an almond shape. And here is our beautiful almond shape. Our next shape is the ballerina shape, also known as the coffin shape. This shape is most common on medium length nails and long nails. Notice how I am holding the nail file at an angle and not touching the point of growth. Touching the point of growth while creating the ballerina shape is a common mistake. This shape isn't the best for this client as it highlights some of her natural nails imperfections, making the shape a little uneven. However, with a little more filing, I will try my best to make this look as even as possible.
And here is our ballerina shape on natural nails. Our next shape for today is a soft square. I'm filing down the length as length on a square shape tends to round out once filed. While filing the tip of her nail, I'm holding the nail file perpendicular to her nail and further filing the sides and narrowing the tip just a little bit, giving them a bit of a softer look, which my clients usually prefer. It is easy to file too much and end up with an almond shape. So do make sure when narrowing out a soft square shape, you're leaving sharp and precise corners. Our last shape for today will be a regular square shape. I'm not completely sure if this shape will work the best for my client's nail type, but we will find out soon. I usually take down the length with my nail drill and further continue with my nail file. While filing the tip of her nail, I am holding the nail file perpendicular to her nail and then continuing to file the sides of her nail. I'm filing the sides in an even line and not rounding them. Unfortunately, because the corners of her natural nails are bending downward, it won't be possible to get a perfect and even square. You can file the length down in this kind of case, which will make the square appear more even, but my clients typically don't like shorter square-shaped nails. And here are the five most popular nail shapes on natural nails. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting, and if you did, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.